Welcome to Knock Your Socks Off Radio. We're nearing the end here. We will try to put this together and make this a uh, somewhat of a coherent piece. However, uh, right now, we have to deal with our demons and uh, do what we can. Do what we may. My sullen face sunk into oblivion. But I felt it had been there before. I lowered his head, shut his eyes. Norm was gone. An element of God took my hands now, with my heart now fluttering beyond everything now. I peered into the vast expanse before me. I drug his blubbered mass 50 feet. I counted out my paces as I went. The memories of him crept to the point of reality. I realized I could get nearly 4,000 quid for his fat body. I could hear the drones coming for his body outside. They could smell death. I knew of how to dispose of a body correctly. However, the Charles Manson lessons we all had grown up with had rung in my head. But this was new to me. I did not want Norm to go out like this. There was no way I could bring his mass upstairs. I draped him in crazy religious robes and tucked him under the stairs, just as Harry Potter would do. The drones had passed, and now I welcomed the books on Norm's desk to illuminate my hell. I did what felt responsible now. My subconscious took over, and I knew the money was not worth it. The body would still be available for later use. I creaked open the first book next to the typewriter. But I fixed the world was inscribed in the first entry I read on. This is a painful document. Not a pain you feel. It is the pain you hear about. I slammed the book closed. What the hell is on this fucking thing? What is happening down here? I read on. What hell has forsaken me tonight? I opened the yellow book next to the typewriter. It read, We are happy now that we are dead. Feeling every line, though as though I had written them, I slammed it shut. The blue book to my left I crested the first page, and the first line howled, Thank you for the water. I've been here for over two weeks with no help. Help, help, help me. I shut the book. The levity was clear. I had inherited hell.
I knew looking at the sun directly when I was a kid that I'd known that, that was a superpower. I had never known that when I met a friend for a night out that it would turn into hell. I never wanted to get this close to the sun. I stumbled to the closest bookshelf. I grabbed red binding. I creaked it open. The pages were blank. Every page I flipped through was blank, blank, blank. The pages were blank. Every page blank. I walked back to Norman's body that was now being consumed by the drones. I plopped at his desk next to the typewriter. I wrote, I dropped a pen. I clicked away, I dropped the pen. Nothing happened. I grabbed the next book, yellow and binding. I wrote, I dropped my pen. Nothing again. I grabbed the next blue book. I inscribed, I dropped my pen. As I dropped five pens with great anger, again, nothing. I wrote on the typewriter, Norman is at my feet, and I'm worried about him. Just then, the entire expanse of the downstairs zoomed back to him. It made everything clear now. Everything. Everything was completely clear now. We actually had clearness. The clearness was beyond clear. Every single bookshelf came zooming in. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Norman's lump was still there. Dead, unfortunately. But then I looked down at the typewriter and it began to glow. So I wrote. I wrote what I felt. I wrote, Norm's okay. Norm's going to make it. We just learn new stuff and we're back in our room with old Norm chatting about old times. And I also wrote on the typewriter that we learned something. We learned that we can't always be too P.O.'d. Can't be too pissed off sometimes. Nine times out of ten, it'll get you a little too pissed. Just then, just then, The lights flickered. We woke up upstairs on the top of the floorboards. We were back in our beds. Norm was a blubbered mess just upstairs. Thankful as ever. He said, 
maybe we shouldn't go out next week. And I agreed. Thank you for listening to Knock Your Socks Off Radio. That is the completion of floorboards. Um, again, that you know, this is this is a this is a long term thing, and um, but uh, we have many more stories to come, and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you very much. Night.